Welcome back to the Crypto Ball Singer family. Uh, so our next time we will be live will be Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. But I do want to look at a coin I haven't looked at in a while. It's called Dogecoin. I'm sure all of you guys know what Dogecoin is. Um, I thought it was in my favorites list. It probably is somewhere. I'm just going to search for it really quick. Um, so the reason I bring Dogecoin up is because I better be in crypto. The reason I bring Dogecoin up is because come, uh, I believe it's May 23rd. I could be wrong about that. Uh, Elon Musk is going to launch a rocket ship into space funded by Dogecoin, and it might even have the Dogecoin logo on it. So I think uh, when that news is more public and more people know about it, this thing could have a nice run up. I'm also in a D-Gen play called Doge One, um, but that's for a separate video. Uh, very low mark cap. But right now, looking at Dogecoin, right now we are sitting at seven and a half cents nearly. We are pretty much sitting on support at basically seven cents. And your next major resistance is 10.5 cents. Above that, you're looking at 13.4 cents. If Dogecoin had a run, you know, above 13 cents, I would not be surprised come May 23rd. That's a month and a half away or two months away. Um, but that's something I'm looking out for. Now, just looking at the daily chart, daily chart has more room to go on the upside, but you did just get rejected off of the 200-day moving average, which is at basically 7.9 or 8 cents. Uh, so that is one thing you do have to break uh, before you can be bullish. I would like to see you get back above 8 cents above the 200-day moving average and then use that as support and then have the R uh, daily chart RSI reset and then have a, a, a higher low put in. Going to the 4-hour chart, 4-hour chart right now is putting in a higher low. Looks very bullish on the 4-hour chart. Um, I mean, the 4-hour chart is clearly putting in a higher low. The previous low was around 7.1 cents, and right now you could be putting in a higher low around 7 point. The low was 7.3. If that was a low, that'd be very bullish. Now look at the 1-hour chart. 1-hour chart is kind of struggling a little bit here. Uh, you could say this is probably, you could say this is a falling wedge here on the 1-hour chart. Um I would definitely say that's a falling wedge. If I let me zoom in a little bit to look at this, uh, so your measure move of this falling wedge would pretty much be that lowest wick I would use, and then you get your measure move. Assuming it goes down a little bit more and consolidates a little bit more before it breaks out, you're looking at around a measure move of 7.8 cents conservatively. Um, so that's what I'm looking at right now. It is back below the 200-day moving average on the one-hour chart, so something to be cautious of. And looking at the 50-minute chart, it's below the 200-day moving average, uh, but the 50-minute chart just put in a higher low. So right now, I wouldn't really care what the one-hour chart is doing. I don't really, really care what the 50-minute chart is doing. I would personally be in a play for the long term come – I would be in a long-term trade until May or until right before the launch. Um, buy the rumors, sell the news. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, so I see a possible play here on Dogecoin with you sitting pretty close to support at 7.5 cents or 7.4. I'm sorry, the support is at 7 cents, and you're at 7.5 right now. I think this is a pretty safe play. You could enter at 7.5 cents or right now with a stop loss at 6.9 or something like that. If you want to be really safe, you put it below the last local low at 6.2, but that's a, that'd be a really steep stop loss. So not financial advice, just I see a possible play. I want to let you guys know about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I appreciate if you hit the like, subscribe button. Join the Telegram if you guys are new. Uh, and if you guys have requests for other coins, let me know in the comment section below. We will be back live, like I said, Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. I'll see you then. Have a great week. Trade safe. I'll see you guys very soon.